15th, 2024. Yesterday on February 14th, 2024, up in Akron, I went in Bueller's and two idiot strippers walking out. They hunted us down and told us to knock it off. They already knew they photoshopped everything on it before, but we thought it was funny. It's because it's a sick mentality of exploiting people. Hmm? It's scaring them. It's that sick mentality of those fucking prostitutes. Okay? So, I go up there. And I know my phone's tapped. And I know they sold the login. So, I start playing the tape of, let's see, everybody defending me, including the ass. Karen, you're good to the kids. You're good to the grandkids. You would never hurt anyone. Play my other kids defending me. Hmm? And Dave and I talk about Mel's kids gonna lie because they thought I was gonna go through a divorce and move out, but you know, even John saying they couldn't say anything mad and all this other stuff. Well, the police taped him on Thanksgiving when I ask him what's going on. Oh, mom, I told Melissa and the kids you were moving out, you're gonna go through a divorce. She'll have a make up something, but they could never say anything bad. No one could ever say anything bad about you. Don't worry about it. He defends me. Josh defends me. It's like I've never done anything bad or wrong to you. Never said you did. Danny, where did you get that one? Jen, if anybody said you did anything wrong, they would be a Pinocchio and their pants would burst in flames. Hmm? Dixie as if. And nobody thought the mean jokes that floor rat him out on October 23rd, 2019. Of course it never happened. Of course it wasn't true. We made it up. There were games of pretend. The police already knew there were sick games of pretend. They're documented mean jokes. Okay? Now, that was all wiped out in 18. 18, it's 14. It's six years later. Five and a half years later. And these low educated, low minded, no IQ people fall for shit in a hate crime. A hate crime. Every fucking day. Every fucking day there's a moron without a brain cell or some human trafficker thinking it's funny. Thinking it's funny that they're exploiting women and children. They think it's funny because they're getting away with crimes. Well, I sit and play my tapes of everybody defending me, including the ass carrying you go to the kids, you go to the grandkids, you wouldn't hurt anybody. Go to everyone, no matter who it is. Talk about my lying. Hmm? Okay. Have Dixie tape with her permission of knowing of the mean games of pretend from Mel's kids and how they were laughing about them. Okay? Documented mean jokes. Now we're going to go on. I play all that. I leave my work. And I uploaded. The church has taken up 25000 to have me murdered. I'm not submitting to no one yet. Okay? I go in to other stores when I leave people around me and talking the, they were listening to her today they she has them nailed for them her ex-husband admitting they took up money to hire a man to kill her they and the, she has her whole family defend her the police said they already got these people nailed and so does she for them hiring these people to kill her hmm? they looked it up it's carrying around the house Okay. Their whole family defended her. Okay. I go down to Canton. I go to this one place and I'm waiting my turn to be waited on. I go and get something to eat, go out. Went back out to my car to get a Diet Coke. There's some guys have been following me for almost six years, five and a half years. Outside there. Okay. We we went to them. We asked them, she really never had anything to do with that traffic accident years ago? They said, no. You had her drug beat and raped? Because somebody said something about her and they said, yes. They said, some guy's been sitting on this case looking for some guy that's paying for all this. They said it's some kind of fentanyl king. It's a Texas fentanyl king, honey. For we all work for the king from Texas. We are his men. Dave hired. Over at McDonald's 62, they were in there at 7. My 
I'll tap down the thing. Should be November, December, 18, January, February, 19th. Go to the phone taps. At least recorded it. It's a fentanyl came from Texas. Iraqi terrorist asked Officer Mark. Older white guy with white hair works my case. I'll tell you I'm innocent. October, August 21st to 23rd or 23, outside Coles, was telling a lady so loud it, uh, in Belden Village it was echoing through the parking lot. That none of this is funny. Said, did her ex husband defend her? He said, yeah, we taped him. So did I. And said, um, did anybody talk to her? No. He said, then they really did frame her. He said, it's documented they framed her. She said, was it the drug cartel? He said, yes. We seen him. And he said it was documented. It was a medication error that made her sick before. And documented. Uh, medic, uh, another woman was using her insurance, too. She's like, no, this is funny. He said, I know it's not. Medication error made me sick. And another woman was using my insurance. Since the second year of my marriage, it was probably one of Dave's girlfriends. Do you understand? Framed by the drug cartel. It's a fentanyl king, for we all work for the king from Texas. We are his men. He sent us here, and Dave hired us. Do you realize, like, kids set out in uh, North Camp last year. Our parents had to talk about, this is why you don't go to churches like this. Because if they weren't in a cult, nobody would ever said a word to her. And nobody wouldn't have touched her. And this is why you don't go to churches like this. There are cults. I was found innocent of everything in 18. The police watched me, and I've been under police surveillance since 18. Hmm. And Mark's probably a camp cop, because Will at the Canton FBI told me his best one of his best friends was uh, uh, the chief of police at Canton. And with him being stationed in Canton, he's either a Stark County Sheriff or he's a Canton officer. Hmm. And so it's probably John. And they've worked my case since 18. And I'll tell you, I'm innocent. They got in people's faces. The North Canton Jackson Police know who Mark is. So does Stark County Sheriff's. He's a tall, white officer with white hair. Hmm? He tells everybody I'm an informant. Nobody's allowed to talk to me. All right. I got to head off to work. But yeah, this is just a big hate crime. And they're so fucking stupid. I put it up on Facebook. This is how stupid my ex-husband is. This is how stupid he is. And thinking his scam would work. This is how stupid he is. I want you to think about this. <sighs> Impersonating a doctor is 1 to 10. Any doctor selling or sharing your information is 10 years federal prison and a quarter million dollar fine. Impersonating a judge is 1 to 3. Voyeurism tapes. Voyeurism is peaking Tom tapes. Anytime that you take a picture of somebody's private area without their permission or knowledge. And they're saying so. It's one to five years. Go jail for Kitty porn, life in federal. You can get up to life in federal. Rape 20. Restraining somebody, even chemically, can get one to ten. Mm -hmm. These people are looking at life in federal for their confessions to that federal agent. Are they nuts? Yes, they're nuts. They're absolutely 100% nuts. Anybody associated with them can go to jail. They went in and admitted that they had stalking tapes, peaking time tapes, voyeurism. Dave hired Pete on his own. I talked to. Uh, a criminal attorney, and Pete's actually Alex, the white-haired guy with his hair powder inside, the guy that bashed my skull in, 12 21, 18 and protected custody. There would be a video of him in the house. He's the one in the cheesy beard, pretending to be a retired judge raping people, framing a Portage County judge. And Michelle's saying his daughter, well, he's an old retired judge. That would be his great-grand, or his granddaughter. Think about it, not his daughter, or his great-granddaughter. See, people haven't realized the age difference. It was her brother in a wig framing a Portage County judge running a drug scam. Dave and Strange walked into an FBI office and purposely defrauded the FBI. I don't know how that agent kept a straight face and didn't beat the hell out of him and arrest him. 
you got what? Stocking tapes. Hire Pete on his own, and it's Alex in a cheesy beard and a wig, and a stripper prostitute claiming she's a judge's daughter, and they're stalking people. And he would know that's not no judge. And some guy so, uh, pretending to be a doctor from Altman Hospital, selling information. You can't be a doctor giving out information, and you can't pretend to be a doctor. Todd Mac jail time. You can't be a pretend to be a judge either. See what I mean? You can't have stocking tapes, voyeurs, and peek and tom tapes. It's automatic jail time. It's right to privacy over your home. Dave can't. Dave can't break my rights. I talked to a criminal attorney. I had no right hiring that guy. You can't have no nothing admissible. I talked to the prosecutor's office. I've talked to police departments. Nothing they have is admissible. People just keep falling for their fucking stunts. That's where. How did that agent keep it together? And that they admitted they taped in the bathroom. They had kitty porn. Perverts. They had photoshopped that washing scene. Huh? They had fake sodium pentothal reports. They were drugging me up and telling me to say stuff. And he didn't lose it and beat the hell out of those people and arrest them? For being fucking stupid walking in an FBI office and confessing to all those crimes? They are looking at life and federal for opening their mouth. And these people are so fucking stupid. And it's coming down to, these people are so fucking stupid. Where the... Mar Sheriff and Marshall getting used in the case and blowing the hell out of it and getting human traffickers and drug traders? Hmm? They honestly think that that FBI agent Will's going to steal my uh, informant money and give it to Dave. I heard somebody say that the other day. I heard that before. He ain't going to give Dave a dime. I may not have got my FBI informant money, but he sure as hell ain't going to give it to Dave. Some child molester taking a, having his grandkids tape going potty. They said some guy's been sitting on this case to find out who the fentanyl king is. It's a fentanyl king from Texas. It's that Iraqi terrorist. That's Mark. And like you said, it's that fucking Iraqi terrorist. For we all work for the king from Texas. We are his men. It's a drug lord. They have hired us. It's a drug lord. I locked him up. Like I said, they were looking at life and federal. They told everybody in 19 all their evidence was illegally obtained and cannot be used. They have told these people, and in front of the cops, they laughed that they framed me in 19, feminine white piece above the toilet to make me look weird. They admitted they had sodium pentothal reports trying to frame him where they were roofing me and telling me, say all kinds of weirdo stuff, flashing stuff, hurting people stuff. I had to go to all my family. I've never hurt you. I've never done anything wrong. I never sent you did. Where'd you get that? Hmm? And the godless apostolic people, those precious little ones, Saying that they wanted the house for Auntie Show and Papa and Grandma needs to give out the adultery. Mm -hmm. With a stripper prostitute taking up kitty porn of other kids and those little precious things. Supporting kitty porn and rape of other people. They're godless people. It's a hate crime done by the apostolic church's hiring. Like they said yesterday, none of this is funny. They know that uh, some of the people they hired are human traffickers. Absolutely, they're human traffickers. They're serial killers and child molesters. And those apostolic people being proud, they haven't been arrested. Someone needs to arrest them. And go after the drug dealer later. It's that Iraqi terrorist. That's Officer Mark. He was swearing about it. It's that fucking Iraqi terrorist. Now I'm going to upload this. And they're so stupid. They're actually this fucking stupid. They think I can get in trouble for being exploited. And framed. In my own home. Dave can't hire Pete. Hmm? He can't hire Pete. I talked to a criminal attorney. I talked to the prosecutor's office. I talked to police departments. He had no right hiring Pete to stalk, drug, beat, and rape me. And I have a right to privacy in my own home. And he had no right in my home. Think about that. And Pete's Alex, the stripper's brother in a disguise framing a Portage County judge. I'm going to upload this.